What's crackling, everybody? Welcome back once again to the Definitive Serial Tier List, where each episode we take a serial, put it on the tier list, so you know how good it is. I'm your host, Tucker, and this episode we're doing Duncan Round 2 with Caramel Macchiato Cereal. So last episode we did the other Duncan cereal, which was Mocha Latte. That ended up getting a C, totally fine as a cereal. Um, I'm not a huge coffee or even specifically Duncan person, so I couldn't really tell you if it nailed that flavor, but um, as a cereal flavor, it was at least, you know, sort of unique, but that difference was sort of the main standout, and every other way, totally just fine cereal. So I'm expecting something similar for this one, unless, I don't know, maybe I'll learn today that I do have a coffee preference between these two, and this will be higher, but that seems like both unlikely and kind of strange, so this will probably just get the same rank. But let's just open it up and find out what has Duncan got in store this time. Okay. Scent wise, it smells like coffee. I guess a latte specifically this time. Or no. The last one was a latte. This is mochiata. Excuse me. Alright, so the base pieces this time, um, a little lighter. And I think the swirl is more or less the same on the marshmallows. Um, but I think worth noting on the last one, I believe it did have like cocoa in the ingredients. So it was a chocolate looking piece, of, like on that slight almost chocolate thing. This one doesn't. So I guess that's why it's lighter. Now it's just the, what is it? Coffee, coffee concentrate. That's the main thing going on, I think. All right. Again, want to make sure I don't get too many marshmallows in the first bite. All right, there we go. Okay, it's definitely a bit sweeter than the last one, which I think sort of maybe makes sense, but. Yeah, I think it's a much more both sweet and less intense coffee flavor. Not the other one was super intense or anything, but it's a little more mellow this time, I think. Last time we did a just piece versus just marshmallow comparison. So we're gonna do that again here. This is just the pieces. Okay, that's all right. Um, last time it was very much sort of what I think of with a coffee taste. This one, again, not as much. Um, you kind of are getting it there, but I don't think as distinct as the mocha latte one. All right, just marshmallow now. Okay, that I think tastes a bit more like a m normal marshmallow more than the last one did. There's like that sort of hint of the caramel there, but it's not, I guess, sort of like the piece super strong. I sort of mentioned this at the end of the last one, but the sogification of the pieces is like visually sort of obvious, um, and it does happen at a fairly steady pace, but the sort of soggy crunch that you get isn't too bad here. It's not ruining the piece or anything. So that's still working out okay. Now let's see if the milk is gonna taste like a caramel macchiato. Again, I can't really judge that super great, but I will just judge if it makes me think of coffee.
Yeah, sort of. In this one, I think the milk taste and the peace taste are a little closer to matching than to the previous one. So it's just kind of like a sort of sweet, sort of coffee-ish milk. Yeah, it's not bad. Like, I like it enough, I guess. It's not necessarily better than the last one, but I think it is a bit more what you'd expect after trying the pieces. I think the prediction I made at the beginning is pretty accurate because this seems fairly in line with the other Dunkin' cereal. So like the last Dunkin' cereal, I think this is a totally fine cereal. Um, Piece-wise, those are pretty solid. Got a bit of crunch at the beginning, even when they sort of solidify, don't lose it too much. So that's all good. Taste-wise, it's, again, a bit sweeter than the last Dunkin', but that same sort of coffee-ish taste. Marshmallows seem pretty similar. There's like that slight hint of the caramel in there, I guess, but not a huge difference there. So piece texture-wise, this is a cereal. Good job, Duncan. So what I'm gonna do is give Duncan Caramel Macchiato Cereal a C. I think it's pretty in line with the last one they did, and it kind of comes down to like your own personal taste which one do you like a bit more sort of deal. Um, for me, I think I like the sweetness of this a bit more, but I liked the more sort of distinct, like coffee-ish flavor the other one had. So even for me, it kind of just depends on the moment, which one I think I'm gonna like a bit better. And again, it is worth remembering that I'm not really a coffee person, so I can't tell you if it nails the actual Dunkin' Caramel Macchiato thing. So this is just, as a cereal, it's fine. Did it nail the thing? Question mark. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and in the comments below, post your general thoughts. Let me know if you've tried Dunkin' Caramel Macchiato. Like the last one, this has kind of been around for a bit, so you've probably at least seen it around. Maybe didn't pick it up, but if you did, make sure to share. And again, if you're a coffee expert, and you know whether or not for certain this did taste like a Dunkin' Caramel Macchiato, Feel free to share that and help keep me informed. Also, if you're someone who has tried both of these cereals, let me know sort of your preference over one or the other, what you would do. I think overall, I might give it to the mocha latte one, but maybe you're different. Mm -hmm. Or bonus points, if you've tried both of these cereals and have tried both of the actual coffees that are based off of, and can give sort of a real depth reason why one matches more than the other one's better. If, if you, that's you, definitely feel free to share that. But until next time, stay delicious.